Listed crews will be using flares tomorrow in Mauriceville to get rid of leftover products after last week's train derailment. Officials say that operation poses no health or environmental threats, but traffic will be blocked off along FM 1130. Workers have removed most of the rail cars that came off the tracks. Tonight, there's still no sign of a missing three-year-old boy. Beaumont police say Kasai Baines could be in danger. He was last seen on Monday with his dad, Demarcus Baines. Police say the father was recently removed from his apartment and has a history of mental issues. Please call the police if you've seen either of them. And Port Arthur police haven't made any arrests yet in a shooting that left a woman dead and a man wounded. It happened at a house here on Davis Avenue, just off 365 in Port Acres. Police say Bria McZeal died at the hospital. A man was shot, but he survived. Police have not said what led to the shooting. Tomorrow, that's the deadline for developers to submit a bid if they want to buy Ford Park. Jefferson County still hasn't received any bids for the entertainment complex. An appraisal values the complex at $43.3 million. County commissioners are set to discuss the sale at a meeting on Tuesday.